I'd like, like to ask everyone to please stand for the national anthem, which will be performed by Longmeadow resident and longtime Enfield businessman, Mr. William Squires. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave? O'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. At this time, everyone, please be seated. I'd like to introduce members of the platform party, starting from my right, Marilyn Turner, Professor of English and Faculty Marshal. Cheryl Sear, Director of Human Resources. Stuart Rosenberg, Chair of the Isnuntuck Community College Foundation. Regent Matt Fleury, Chair of the Connecticut Board of Regents for Higher Education. Tim St. James, Dean of Students. Mary Bidwell, Associate Dean of Advanced Manufacturing Technology. Eileen Peltier, Dean of Workforce Development and Continuing Education. And Michelle Coach, Dean of Academic Affairs. <laughs> Greetings, friends, faculty, staff, and guests, and congratulations to our 2018 soon to be graduates. Let's hear it. Commencement is a monumental milestone in one's life. It is a realization of a dream, the achievement of an aspiration, and the results of ambition. It took persistence and determination to get to this point, and tonight you're all here to be recognized for this significant accomplishment and personal achievement. At commencement, we honor students in both the academic and workforce development programs. Tonight, as Nuntuck's faculty and staff celebrate this day and acknowledge all of our graduates' academic success. At Isnuntuck, we pride ourselves on meeting the needs of our students, regardless of where they may be in their life or career. Our mission at Isnuntuck continues to be strong. We have been successful in helping students who wish to begin with us and transfer to a four-year institution or who choose to enter the workforce immediately upon graduation. I'm sure I'm not alone in recognizing that your success is in part the result of guidance and support from dedicated faculty and staff and peers at Isnuntuck and just as importantly, the support of family and friends. All of these people have played a key role in offering encouragement, serving as mentors, and providing knowledge and skills. Graduates, let's take a moment tonight and give a round of applause for your support system here tonight.
As students graduating this evening, you are fortunate to be located in the middle of the New England Knowledge Corridor. You are surrounded by dozens of educational institutions and thousands of businesses providing limitless opportunities for you. I urge you to take advantage of these opportunities to further your education or to strengthen the workforce in our region. We have given you the knowledge and the skills necessary for your next venture. It is up to you to utilize them to the best of your ability and to achieve your dreams. Tonight I share with the graduating class that I stand before all of you as a proud community college graduate and first generation college graduate. My brother and I were the first to graduate college in our family and I hope that my path can be an inspiration for you and proof that the community college education is a solid foundation on which you can build your dreams. These are exciting times for us Nuntuck. Our state has invested over $40 million in our campus and ACC continues to lead the system with over 20% enrollment growth in the last two years. This past year, we opened the doors to our new 27,000 square foot advanced manufacturing technology center and the addition of our new front tower lobby entrance, which offers nearly 10,000 square feet of student-centered spaces. For many of you here with us tonight, we know that you have waited just as long as we have to see us Nuntuck modernized. But we want to remind you that regardless of the new furniture, the fresh paint, the new two-story entrance and the glass tower on the front of our institution, we know that what is really important is on the inside. The nurturing environment for our students and the quality education and services that you deserve. At As Nuntuck, our academic programs are flourishing. We are producing tomorrow's educators, social workers, law enforcement officials, accountants, entrepreneurs, skilled technicians and practitioners, as well as many others. We continue to enrich our academic programs to meet our students' ever-changing needs. Our advanced manufacturing technology program continues to lead the way as the gold star in manufacturing technology education in this region. With our new state-of-the-art Advanced Manufacturing Technology Center, we are putting more skilled and talented students into our state's workforce, contributing to the growth of our communities and to our regional economy. We are very committed to delivering high-quality workforce development programs as well. Within a short time, students in these programs receive a quality education, and I hope will be the case for many of you, are often immediately employed. These workforce licensure programs give our graduates national or state credentials. They are our medical coders at our doctor's offices, our dental assistants, phlebotomists, pharmacy technicians, massage therapists, ophthalmic assistants, EMTs, and more who enrich our lives every day. Tonight, as you become as Nuntuck Community College alumni, I am hopeful you will continue to be an active and engaged member of our student center community in your new role. We need you to be ambassadors for ACC, and I hope to see many of you on campus and at our future events. I know that one of the favorite tra traditions at graduation is the identification of the diversity in our graduating class. And let's see who makes up this 2018 class. Please stand and remain standing when appropriate. First, please stand if you are a veteran. Please stand if you are the first person in your family to graduate from college. Wow. Please stand if you have children. Remain standing. Please stand if you have grandchildren. Please stand if you held a full-time or part-time job while attending college. Wow. And please stand if you plan to transfer to a four-year college to complete your bachelor's degree. All right.
We can now see some of the diversity in our student population and our graduating class. You have all overcome challenges and barriers, and our campus diversity is what makes this Nuntuck a place where we embrace our differences and learn for each other. Let's hear it for our diversity in our class again one more time. Before you leave today, you will receive an alumni mug with one simple message, stay connected. Stay connected to your friends, faculty, and staff who have supported you. Get connected to ACC students and be mentors and role models. Our alumni remain an essential part of our as Nuntuck family. I want to end by acknowledging that tonight each of you has completed something you set out to do and you should be commended for it. Your education is yours for life. No one can ever take away what you have earned at his Nuntuck Community College. Display your degrees and certificates proudly on your resumes and in your portfolios. More importantly, continue to have dreams, aspirations, and ambitions wherever your life path leads. The great Nelson Mandela once said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Graduates, take your knowledge and skills, go out, change the world, and make a difference. Congratulations, class of 2018. At this time, I'd like to welcome Regent Matt Fleury, Chair of the Connecticut Board of Regents for Higher Education, who brings greetings on behalf of our Board of Regents. Thank you, President Lumbella. And thank you all for the privilege of standing before you and your families. I remarked as I entered the building today what a lovely room this is, but it's much more beautiful with you in it. It's an honor and a true joy to share this moment with you. On behalf of the Board of Regents, I extend our warmest congratulations to every graduate, every teacher, every staff member, every family member or friend who has supported you. We also offer our congratulations and appreciation to the employers who have supported you. They will all be rewarded by the contributions of fuller individuals who have invested earnestly in expanding your own capacity. I personally am immensely proud of the fact that I myself am a product of the community college system, just west of here in the Berkshires where we wore green under the shed at Tanglewood on commencement day in 1985. Uh, be grateful the team colors here are not green. Uh, but I said with great uh, earnestness and conviction that I am proud to be a product of the community college system, as proud as I am to have been a product of any other educational institution, some with bigger names and better mastheads, uh, based on what you'd read in US News and World Report. Let's talk about this achievement for what it is. You are a full-fledged graduate of a full-fledged, high-quality institution of higher education, a college that holds itself and you, its students, to the same standards as any college, in many cases, higher standards. Don't let anybody tell you something different than that. Too many people misunderstand community college and community college students and educators. We're not lesser students, lesser teachers, lesser administrators of lesser institutions, and we're certainly not lesser graduates. We're graduates of great colleges that serve great people in great communities across the country. We are the graduates who become the backbone of American productivity, ingenuity, and vitality. We and our colleges, frankly, deserve more regard than we receive. We live, as President Lobella demonstrated when he asked you to stand with your various attributes in the other parts of your lives. We live a different life than the traditional student who jumps out of high school into college with room and board where job one is the job of going to school. Check in with mom and dad, party a little bit. God bless them, they had that opportunity. It wasn't us, was it? We have other demands which require us to pace our academic careers alongside our professional caretaking and financial obligations. Community college students and community colleges should, in my opinion, get extra points for resilience, character, and commitment that goes along with the great academic preparation. 
My point is that you should walk out of here tonight feeling that you have achieved something that's just as valuable, just as important as any other college graduate. And on top of that, you should take a special additional measure of satisfaction in how you did it and where you did it. To me, a community college graduate is not only smart and driven, he or she is also savvy enough to balance life's many demands, gritty enough to succeed under any circumstances. As an employer, I can tell you, and an employer who works with employers, that's what you look for in a candidate for a great job. Carry your as none tuck degree with pride. And if anybody ever doubts, some may, I am certain that your performance as a learner, as a professional, as a citizen of the world will set them straight right quick. Because the ACC class of 2018 rocks. Congratulations and continued success. Onward 18. Thank you, Regent Fleury. It's an honor to have you with us this evening. Next, it's my pleasure to introduce Chairman of the Nuntuck Community College Foundation, who brings greetings from our Foundation Board, Stu Rosenberg. Good evening to the class of 2018, the Platform Party students, families, faculty, Foundation Board members, friends, guests, Chair Fury, and, the, and Dr. LaBella. It's my distinct pleasure to be here again. And I'm gonna go off script because I think about, I'm gonna talk about a little bit about contributions, but I think about what my father once said to me after putting me through all the colleges that I had to go to, and he said, never forget how you got here. Never forget all these people in your family and your friends that helped you get to where you are today. And everybody today is celebrating the opportunity that you have been given for the rest of your life. The ACC Foundation primary mission is to partner with local businesses, students, alumni, and the community for the benefit of S. Nuntuck Foundation. The S. Nuntuck Foundation established in 1997 and since its inception has raised nearly $3 million. These dollars raised are used to support the various initiatives such as advanced manufacturing, mini grants, scholarships, academic skills center, digital and enhanced technologies, student service le learning trips, to name a few. And as you can see, you are graduating for a, from a first rate college. As a result of the continued vision of President LaBella, our outstanding faculty, deans, foundation board, Chairman Fury and President Jaking, members of the Board of Regents, as Nunktuck Community College has become and will be for a long time the gold standard in education innovation, cutting edge technology, and educational excellence for our region. The result, as Nunktuck is a leader in transforming education for the benefits of all of you and the future graduates in our community. All of us together will assure as Nunktuck leads the way by building the future tomorrows for our current and prospective students. This year, the campaign for as Nunktuck has raised a quarter of a million dollars. We should be very proud of all the facilities, the advancements in technology, the generosity of donors and dollars supported by the state of Connecticut. As you graduate today, your voice to our community about its Nuntuck is extremely important. The continued outstanding education will be sustained by those who choose to leave a legacy to its Nuntuck. And this investment will continue the future of the college. In closing, graduation is a critical but exciting time for you, your friends, and family. Today's graduates are our future, Please remember these principles. You have chosen a career path. Continue to excel each and every way. Don't stop learning. Be innovative. Never give up. To quote the late Barbara Bush, cherish your human connections. 
your relationships with friends and family. Remember where you came from. It establishes the roots to your future tomorrows. Now shake each other's hands, say congratulations, say good luck, and God bless all of you and your family. Thank you. Thank you, Stu. It is my pleasure to introduce 2018 graduate Daniel Jakes, who will deliver an, an address on behalf of the graduating class. It's a long walk, isn't it? Good evening, everybody, and thank you for joining us tonight to celebrate such a momentous occasion. Class of 2018, we made it. We finally arrived at the finish line, and we are about to cross it. But before we do, I wanted to take a few minutes and talk about some things. There are three of them. Pride, gratitude, and change. Pride. Be proud of who you are. Be proud of the fact that you walked into Asnantuck on the first day of classes, you sat down at that chair week after week, month after month, semester after semester, and you worked. You gave everything you could when life outside wasn't always easy. You didn't give up. That's something to be proud of. And that's something that no one will ever be able to take away from you. The second thing is gratitude. Have gratitude for the people who helped you get to this stage. Your parents, your loved ones, your mentors, your teachers, or whoever the ones who taught you the skills and knowledge to get you here. Personally, that hero came to me and a math professor named Professor Foley, who's actually sitting right over there. Professor Foley. <laughs> For years, I was terrified of math and never really understood the subject. I remembered she passed out a survey on the first day of class, which asked what our biggest concern with taking this class might be. I, of course, I wrote that I was afraid that I would never understand the material, but Professor Foley never gave up on me. I achieved an A in her class and went on to succeed in my subsequent math classes. It's people like Professor Foley that really make you understand the heart and soul that they put into their work and the heroes they truly are. The last thing is change. Change is scary. A quote that comes to mind here comes from a TV show that some of you might know called Doctor Who. It goes like this. We all change when you think about it. We're all different people, all through our lives. And that's OK. That's good. You've got to keep moving, as long as you remember all the people that you used to be. Indeed, change can seem daunting. But change is good. And right now, we are at its very precipice. Tonight is the night we take our leap. Embrace this. Embrace the fear. Take that plunge, and you will see that life is yours and the most miraculous things are on their way. I leave you all with one more quote, which comes from another familiar source, Harry Potter. <laughs> I did change one or two words, but the message stays the same. Working hard is important, but there's something that matters even more, believing in yourself. Think of it this way. Every great person in history has started out as nothing more than we are now, students. If they can do it, why not us? Certainly, we have all worked hard. So class of 2018, let's take pride in all we do. Be grateful for everything we have and everyone we have, and embrace the change. Thank you all, and congratulations. Thank you, Daniel. I'd now like to welcome to the lectern Joseph Finkel, Associate Professor of English, who will deliver greetings from the faculty. Great job, Dan. President Lambello, Resident Fleury, distinguished guests, my fellow faculty and staff, members of the administration, and most importantly, our new graduates and 
their family, friends, and guests. It is my great honor to deliver the greetings from this faculty this evening. But first, I have a question for the graduates. Did you know that a woodpecker's tongue is three times as long as its already long beak? Did you know that? Now that you know that, do you know why? Yes, you and the black hat. <laughs> I promise you by the end of my remarks, you'll get your answer. I don't presume to speak for an entire group of people very often, but I can say this confidently on behalf of the entire faculty at Nuntuck: we are very, very proud of you. We know that some of you are finishing your education with us, and some of you are just beginning your journey. We know some of you are day students, some of you are evening students, some of you are full-time, and some of you plugged away at one class each semester. Anybody do that? They exist, I guarantee it. We know some of you are single parents. We know some of you are just parents, and that's hard enough, single or not. We know most of you work while taking classes with us, and many of you work full time. We know some of you were born in Connecticut, and some of you were born overseas. We know some of you are veterans. I counted seven before, and I think we owe them another gigantic thank you for their service. We know some of you rolled right into college after high school, and some of you worked for decades before coming to ACC. Um, in the fall, my youngest student was 15, sitting next to him was someone who was 16, and the next day I had an 83-year-old in class. So that is the beauty of Nantuck, and that's the beauty, uh, beauty of community colleges. We know some of you thought you'd never go to college, or someone somewhere made you feel like you weren't good enough, or smart enough, or something enough. We know you didn't love every class you took with us. We know that. It's a shocker, I realize. We know that every student comes to his Nuntuck for different reasons, and so we hope that we helped you get a little bit closer to wherever it is you want to go or whomever it is you'd like to be. The sad part is, is that you will never know what you taught us or what you brought to our lives. I'm speaking for more than just the faculty now. For everyone who works at his Nuntuck, you are our success stories, and we are very, very proud of you. So, you've probably heard of Leonardo da Vinci, Renaissance guy, painted the Mona Lisa. You know, it, he knew his stuff. Um, well, in the corner of one of Leonardo da Vinci's notebooks uh, that we still have, not a, we don't have it at his Nuntuck, I mean, we have it, it's, it exists somewhere. Uh, he jotted down a to-do list, like you or I might do. Now, if you or I were doing this, it would probably say, call mom, or, dog food, or get car fixed. But on Leonardo da Vinci's to-do list, he writes, describe the tongue of a woodpecker. That was on his to-do list. This is a guy who was the best painter of his time, and he was, divining, uh, he was designing canals for the city of Milan, and he thought it was important enough to write down that he should figure out what was going on with a woodpecker's tongue. Now, I'm sorry to disappoint you, and I'm nearing the end of my remarks, but we don't know whether he ever followed up on the whole woodpecker thing, but that's not important. The important part is that he was curious. He wanted to know. Intensely curious, insatiably curious. He either saw or someone told him that a woodpecker's tongue is freakishly long, and he wanted to know why, and if it's so long, where does it go when the bird's mouth is closed? Be curious, graduates. Be insatiably curious. Watch little kids. They are incredibly curious about the world. They love learning new things. They love learning the names of things. They, they don't have the artificial separations that we have, like life experience and school, book smart and street smart welding or biology, music or psychology, science or religion, business or art, I would resist all of those if I were you and be intensely curious about your world and the people around you. 
Da Vinci used to dissect the human heart after people died. He wanted to know how blood flowed. How does this whole thing work? And then he used that knowledge of how blood flowed to design canals for cities. He studied birds and did a sketch of a prototype of a flying machine in 1500. It's all engineering and design, and it has nothing to do with birds, and yet everything to do with birds. Be curious about people, too. Along the way, sometimes we get to thinking like we've seen everything. And when that happens, we start really, we stop really seeing things and we stop really listening to other people. I recommend that each of you spend as much time as possible talking to people that you think are very, very different from you. You are almost always gonna find that we are far more similar than we are different. Seek out the truth and double check it. The thing about the truth is it can be double checked. A woodpecker's tongue is three times longer than its beak, of course so that it can stick into little holes in trees and grab bugs. That part, yes. But the important part is what happens when it goes back in its mouth. When the bird's mouth is closed, a woodpecker's tongue wraps back around its brain in the back of its head and provides a cushion for a blunt force trauma with every peck that is 10 times what would kill you and me. If da Vinci were alive, he'd be designing the best football helmet by studying woodpeckers. This also would have been tremendously handy for you after a bad test or exam at his nuntuck when you were banging your head into a wall repeatedly. If you had a woodpecker's tongue, you could have hit it 10 times harder. On behalf of the faculty at Nuntuck Community College, I extend my heartfelt congratulations to our graduates. Take care of those hearts and brains, and you don't need a huge tongue to do it, and keep pecking away at the world, all right? Thank you, Professor Finkel. I don't think I'll ever look at a woodpecker the same again. Gives me an honor now to introduce Carol Liberté, Associate Professor and Program Coordinator of Early Childhood Education and Human Services to the lectern, who will present the Broken Paddle Award. Good evening. Congratulations, graduates. I am honored to present the Broken Paddle Award tonight. The Broken Paddle Award is a long-standing tradition at Asnuntuck that began at the college's first graduation ceremony in 1974. Two warring groups in Hawaii made peace by breaking a paddle in half so that it could no longer be used as a weapon against the other. The student earning this prestigious award must demonstrate the ability to provide such peaceful balance in their own lives by possessing strong intellect, demonstrating that they care for both themselves and for others, and possessing leadership qualities that would mirror those of the warriors from Hawaii who decided to break their weapons in the name of peace. The award recipient a non-traditional student could have remained broken, like the paddle itself, by the challenges that life put in her path. But she did not. Broken things can be put back together, but when they are, they are forever changed and never really the same as they had once been. Experiences change us, but do not have to defeat us. The award recipient could have given up and stayed in a job that brought her little satisfaction, feeling sorry for herself, but she did not. Instead, she came to a Snuntuck. She registered to be in the Human Services Program, and her journey took on a new direction. She earned A's in nearly every course. She worked hard. She saw a need and volunteered to help alongside classmates half her age. 
She was inducted into the Honor Society Phi Theta Kappa. She kept going. She was a finalist last year in the college's literary journal, Freshwater, and published again this year. She had found her voice. The last line in her essay from that journal about her anxiousness just before walking into her first class at a Snuntuck ends like this. My heart rate slows. I put my backpack on the floor, take out my book, and begin the next chapter in my life. That chapter was not an end, but a new beginning. She is not broken like the paddle, but is whole. She will, however, have this paddle forever as a reminder of all that she has gone through to get to this place tonight and of her life journey. Polly Martin, congratulations. You are this year's Broken Paddle Award winner. Thank you, Professor Le Liberté. Please welcome Michelle Malarkey, Professor of English, who will present the Nelson Bordeaux Award. Nelson Bordeaux was a student in the early 1980s. He entered college a troubled young man, but his years at his Nuntuck helped him turn his life around. Two weeks before he would have graduated, his motorcycle was struck by a car, and Nelson was killed instantly. This award is presented annually in memory of Nelson and the promise of his future success. Tonight, as Nuntuck recognizes a graduate whose choices and resolve very much honor the promise of one's future. Like many graduates, this year's award recipient enrolled at Asnantuck after years away from college, it is not easy to walk through classroom doors as an older student. It takes purpose, determination, and to some extent, a lack of ego, all traits this year's recipient displays. All students encounter minor setbacks, but for non-traditional students, these hiccups can be amplified into a litany of doubt. Am I too old? Is it too late? This should have been done a long time ago, and do I really belong here? Tonight's recipient met any such doubts with honesty and focus. No one likes to ask for help, but it's a key component of learning. Asking questions can be particularly difficult for adult students who often, like tonight's recipient, have spent years successfully engaged in a career. All of the faculty nominations wrote about how this graduate positively contributed to the classroom environment by modeling academic inquiry, critical thinking, and engaging in the sometimes discomfitting business of not having all the answers. Quote, he served as a model of openness during class discussion. His example had a positive and encouraging impact on others in the classroom. He likely doesn't realize how much he contributed to the success of students around him. Service to others is a theme in this graduate's life. Tonight's recipient is a veteran of the U.S. Marine Corps. Members of the military bring tremendous strength to the classroom. However, the transition from military life to civilian life to college life is significant. 
A student once described it to me like this. When I was a soldier, I knew exactly what my job was, and so did everyone else. My day was totally structured. I worked and lived with my unit, and we all understand our roles and our mission. Now, suddenly, I'm a college student. The only structured time is when I'm in class. I take courses with other students, but I don't know them, and they definitely don't know me, and I'm not exactly sure what my mission is. Tonight's recipient, well, if the path didn't seem to be there, he built it brick by brick. He developed an internal schedule and stuck to it, used college resources to lay out clear transfer and career goals, which he steadily pursued. We all watched with delight as he built a network of students, faculty, and staff, and used it to achieve his goals and share this knowledge with others. Tonight's recipient is humble and self-effacing. By now, his face is likely several shades of red. So I'll keep it real and say, mistakes were made. He cut my class so he could go to the Patriots Super Bowl parade. <laughs> it must not have hurt him, though, because he transferred and just completed his first semester at a business major at Western New England University. As he comes forward to receive the 2018 Nelson Bordeaux Award, please join me in congratulating Kurt Murphy. Thank you, Professor Malarkey. And now to present the Distinguished Service Award, Sherry Paquette, Director of Student Activities. Good evening. The criteria for the Distinguished Service Award are the award recipient should demonstrate academic success, service to the college community, and fellow students. Others know the award recipient as loyal, trustworthy, dedicated, and always willing to go beyond to support others and make his Nuntuck Community College a better place. Leadership, academic success, advocacy, and service all of this make up the character of the 2018 recipient of the Distinguished Service Award. This young person is a kind, trustworthy, and loyal student leader who has gone above and beyond to make his Nuntuck Community College a better place. They have a deep sense of caring for others within our college community and has put heart and soul into working for fellow students in the college at large and consistently leads in a kind and compassionate manner. This student takes academics seriously and is a member of the Phi Theta Kappa National Honor Society and was a recipient of the 2018 All Connecticut Academic Team Award. Stellar academic success has been achieved while working two part-time jobs, helping fellow students and volunteering at school. This graduate has continually been of service to our college, to the students, and advocated for peers all year long. They have done a wonderful job representing this Nuntuck both on and off campus, including the following. Leading many inclusive awareness campaigns across campus, fighting for fellow students across the state for affordable textbooks, being at the forefront of campus activities and events, and doing pickups for the Nuntuck Pantry to keep it stocked. 
This student works at the Isnuntuck Information Desk and for the Isnuntuck Women's Leadership Institute. Other services include being an active member of the Campus Activities Board, as well as several clubs and committees. Please welcome to the stage the President of the Isnuntuck Student Government Association and the recipient of the 2018 Isnuntuck Distinguished Service Award, Ryan Russen. <laughs> Thank you, Sherry. As part of tonight's ceremony, I would like to recognize distinguished groups of students who are identified by items worn as part of their gra graduation regalia. As I identify each group, I would ask that those students stand and be recognized. Students wearing blue and white cords at the ceremony are Student Government Association members. Please stand. Students wearing gold sashes are members of Phi Theta Kappa National Honor Society. Please stand. <laughs> Students wearing blue, white, and gold cords are members of Epsilon Pi Tau International Honor Society for Technology Fields. Please stand. Students wearing gold cords are graduating with a 3.7 GPA or higher. Please stand. And students wearing red, white, and blue cords are veterans of our armed forces. Please stand. All right, graduates, are you ready? <laughs> President Lumbella, we have the honor to present the following candidates and to certify on behalf of the faculty that they have successfully completed the requirements for the degree of Associate in Arts or Associate in Science and certificates or licensures. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of Connecticut and the Board of Regents for Connecticut State Colleges and Universities, I accept these candidates and confer upon them the degree of Associate in Arts or Associate in Science and Certificate in Licensures. For the Associate in Science Accounting, the candidates for the degree of Associate of Science in Accounting will receive congratulations from Nick Lefakis, Professor of Business and Accounting. Mohammed Bard Haran. Honors, also receiving Accounting Assistant Certificate. <laughs> Jessica Rochelle Langevin. <laughs> Joseph Louis Aponte, also receiving Accounting Assistant Certificate. Fleming Ellsbury, highest honors, also receiving accounting assistant, business administration in advanced manufacturing machine technology certificates. Evan Austin Matisse, honors, also receiving accounting assistant certificate. Elijah Jonathan Stone, also receiving accounting assistant certificate. 
Villar. Dagny Simone Villar, honors. Also receiving business administration, accounting assistant, and business administration certificates. Victoria Rachel Graybon, also receiving business administration, accounting assistant, and business administration certificate. Michael Fennelly, business administration, high honors, also receiving administration certificate. The candidates for the degree of business administration will receive congratulations for James Wilkinson, professor of business and economics. Wesley Isaac, highest honors, also receiving business administration certificate. <laughs> Margaret E. Karwowski, also receiving business administration certificate. Michael Middleton, high honors, also receiving a business administration certificate. Chelsea Ray Millard, high honors, also receiving business administration certificate. Peter Rivera, also receiving business administration certificate. Peter Wilson, highest, uh, high honors, also receiving business administration certificate. Octavia Michelle Gaines, also receiving accounting assistant and business administration certificates. Communications journalism option. The candidates for the degree of communications will receive congratulations from Teresa Foley, Liberal Arts Department Chair and Professor of Mathematics. Michael Moriarty. <laughs> criminal Justice. The candidates for the degree of criminal justice will receive congratulations from Donald Boyd, Professor and Coordinator of Criminal Justice. Ryan Conway. Nadine Don Demergian. A business administration degree for Allison Marie Massey, highest honors. She is also receiving the President's Medallion for Academic Excellence. This medallion is awarded to students who have achieved a perfect 4.0 in a degree program. Lisa Marie Gallipo, Business Administration Honors. Daniel Stephen Jakes, Honors. Also receiving Accounting Assistant and Business Administration Certificates. Criminal Justice. Sarah Janelle Irene Sims. <laughs> Emily Rose Quirk. <laughs> Allison Michelle Kilty, honors. if we could bring forward the early childhood education degree. 
The candidates for the degree of early childhood education will receive congratulations from Carol L. Liberty, Associate Professor and Coordinator of the Early Childhood Education Department. Catherine Michelle Burnett, also receiving Early Childhood Education Certificate. Taylor Henrich, Highest Honors, also receiving Early Childhood Education Certificate. Alicia Mollison, also receiving Early Childhood Education Certificate. Alyssa Murray, Honors, also receiving Early Childhood Education Certificate. Kelsey Sullivan, Honors, also receiving Early Childhood Education Certificate. Mariah Kate Warnock, also receiving Early Childhood Education Certificate. the General Studies degree. The candidates for the General Studies degree will receive congratulations from Michelle Malarkey, Professor of English. Bradley Michael Webster, also receiving Accounting Assistant Certificate. James David Shaker. Ashley Elizabeth Arbogast, high honors, also receiving Health Career Pathways Certificate. Will Vladimir Bro, high honors. Vanessa Caswell, honors. Ina Fisher. Kurt Aaron Murphy. Shonda Rankin. Ryan Russin, honors. Tessa Margaret Stack. Jessica Lynn Stewart, honors. Nicholas Joseph Tamaro. Angelica Ivalice Vega Green. <laughs> Tiffany Shante Williams. <laughs> Ji Zhu, highest honors. <laughs> Angela S. Rodriguez. Honors, also receiving Health Career Pathway Certificate. Justine Elizabeth Moses. Denise Bates, highest honors, also receiving Early Childhood Education Certificate.
Joshua Hill, also receiving business administration, entrepreneur, and marketing certificates. Hassan Adan. Sanford W. Moore. Armando Ray Molina. Human Services Degree. The candidates for the degree of Human Services will receive congratulations from Carol Law Liberty, Associate Professor and Coordinator of Human Services. Polly Martin, highest honors, also receiving Gerontology and Human Services Management Certificates. <laughs> Liberal Arts. The candidates for the degree of Liberal Arts will receive congratulations from Teresa Foley, Liberal Arts Department Chair and Professor of Mathematics. Manur Aftab, Honors. John Mason Biter, Honors. Christopher Alex Belmonte, High Honors. Haley Marie Boyer. Travis J. Gerard. Alexandra Lynn Green, honors. Arij Kawash. Taylor Laflamme, honors. Zhe Li, honors. Emily Raven Lopez, honors. Taylor Malinowski, high honors. Desiree Marie Morrison, highest honors. Victoria Orifist, high honors. Stephanie Lee Parnin, honors. Tiara M. Rankin. Ada I. Shetler, high honors. Aaron I. Stone. Christina Susan Taylor, honors. Corinne Amber Tryon, honors. Chad Eugene Woodyard II. For the degree of Liberal Arts Fine Arts Option, the candidates will receive congratulations from Michael Demers, Arts, Business, Careers, and Sciences Department Chair and Associate Professor of Art. Nathaniel J. Kissel. Elizabeth Joy D'Alessandro. For the degree of liberal arts, Andre Freebus. Health Career Pathway degree. 
The candidates for the degree of Healthcare Pathway degree will receive congratulations from Michelle Malarkey, Professor of English. Fadma Sila Karuka. Registered Medical Assisting. The candidates for the degree of Registered Medical Assisting will receive congratulations from Michelle Howard Swan, Allied Health Coordinator. Pamela Ann Merrick, High Honors, also receiving the Registered Medical Assistant Certificate. Agnieszka Kajina Gar Garnsash, Highest Honors, also receiving the Registered Medical Assistant Certificate, the President's Medallion for Academic Excellence. This medallion is awarded to students who have achieved a perfect 4.0 in a degree program. <laughs> Natalia Shevchuk, Highest Honors, also receiving Registered Medical Assistant Certificate. She is also receiving the President's Medallion for Academic Excellence. This medallion is awarded to students who have achieved a perfect 4.0 in a degree program. Autumn Renee Wyatt. Angela April Albee. Nicole Marie Appleby. Mallory DeJesus. Hima Janush Falud Faldu. Gabrielle Ann Fazano. Lisa D. Gonzalez. Also receiving certified phlebotomy and EKG technician. Melissa Nicole Hian. Zachary Alexander Hulovich. <laughs> Stephanie Marie Kwasnick, also receiving Registered Medical Assistant Certificate. Tessa Aveline McCarrier. Barbara A. Nye. Natalie Iris Perez. Angelica Santiago. Soraya Indica Seaton. Fiona Rubakura. Cassidy Tucci. At this time, Associate Dean of Manufacturing Technology, Mary Bidwell, will present the degrees for machine technology. Candidates for the degree of Technology Studies Machine Technology Option will be greeted by Mike Lombardi, lead instructor in the Advanced Manufacturing Machining Program. Kevin J. Miller, Technology Studies Machine Technology Option 
also receiving the Advanced Manufacturing Machine Technology Certificate. Alec J. Lumbella, Technology Studies Machine Technology Option. Okay, want me to do it? Okay. Web designer will be greeted by Cheryl, sorry, it's Cheryl Turgeon, Professor of Information Technology. Vienna L. Groom, web designer. Sorry. Okay. I am now going to call to the podium Eileen Peltier to um, read a couple, and I'll be back in a little bit. <laughs> And Michelle Howard Swan will help me congratulate our graduates. The first is from Dental Assisting, Oksana Morgan. <laughs> Hannah Faith Burnett. <laughs> Alyssa Rose Linares. <laughs> Valerie Ann Flores. Tadesha Onika Gordon. <laughs> Veterinary Assistant Kayla Johanna Cook. Diana A. Corbacero. Mira Dahlberg. Thank you. Lori Hope Cleveland. Marisol Marie Lopez. Faith Marie Leonowitz. <laughs> Jessica Lynn Leapez. Christine T. Lucier. <laughs> Shirley Ann Hoffman. Corey Lorraine Stevens. <laughs> Certified sterilization technicians, Carmen Boris. Charmaine Lorette Peretta. Certified phlebotomy and EKG technician, Latoya Nicole Myers. Cassandra Marrero. Krista Lee Callery. Tamisha Brianne Womack. Elizabeth Rodriguez. <laughs> Lillian Aware. Amanda Genesis Cologne.
George Martez James Jr. Norma S. Lasaka. Donna Lee Markham. Iris J. Rodriguez. Aracelis Ortiz. Chastity Elizabeth Reeves. Coretta Charzana Cameron. Arlene K. Lee. Helene Gilbert. Taisha Mercedes Guzman. Jennifer Ann Francis China. Stacy Ann Osuna. Sabrina Justine Pereira. Sama Charur. Michelle Garcia. Sandra I. Rodriguez. <laughs> Vanetta Hazel. Amani Kalish Brown. Betty Agin. Nicole Francis Shea. Christina Marie Camilleri. Dorothy A. Harker. Patricia Lynn Hoffman. Coder. Professional coders, Karen Miller. Fatma El Saeed. Jamie Marie Siciliano. Brandy Jane Sanderson. Tracy L. Cloutier. Ivory Ustani. Dina Papavichenko. Certified Medical Administrative Assistant, Rinelda Liliana Fernandez. Basic Skin Aesthetics and Advanced Skin Aesthetics, Asil Kawash. Basic Skin Aesthetics, Megan L. Gibbs. Basic and Advanced Aesthetics, Angelina Nicole Hunt. Massage Therapy, Brittany Renee Alexander. Andrea D. Rosado. Emergency Medical Technician, EMT, or Shula Clara Ostafin Tebitz. Mary Ellen Sarah Giroux.
going to manufacturing. Am I done? For the degree in advanced manufacturing technology certificate, Matthew Douglas Bader. Jason T. Breard. Darlene Kalisti. Francis Cerullo. For welding technology option, we'll call Rick Monroe up. He is the lead welding instructor. Ryan Patrick Murphy. Machine technology certificate, Robert James Francis. Matthew M. Hanacek. Kyle Adam Jolly. Nick Kittle. Jose Lopez. Nigel J. Mackin Wilson. Misa Luel McConan. Andrew Vaughn Martin. Jason C. Myers. Joseph Julius Norikis. Stanford Jess Jeffrey Norman. Raekwon Xavier Peterson. John D. Quinn. Sean O'Neill Ransom. Laura Rosado. Julio, right? Julio Sanabria. Adil Sarhani. Omari Quinn De Sellers. Samuel Nicholas Smith. Michelle Ann St. Amon. Judith Beverly Thomas. John Anthony Tullis III. William Robert Turner, Turner the third. I will now call up um, Gary Ravicki, lead instructor in our electronics electromechanical program. For the degree of man manufacturing electronics fundamentals, manufacturing electronic systems and controllers certificate, Glenn Donald Dardinelli. For the Certificate of Manufacturing Electronic Systems and Controllers and the fu and Electronics Fundamentals, Chad Hebert. Okay. For the Advanced Manufacturing Machine Technology Certificate, Michael Francis Vizno. Vizno. Sorry. Crystal Wellington. Monterrell Therese Morris. Yeah. 
Robert Huey Pratt. Rick, you're up. Rick Monroe, back up. For the Manufacturing Welding Ten Technology Fundamentals Advanced Manufacturing, John F. Bergeron, Jr. Andrew F. Borneval. Adam Romeo Castingway. Kevin Kennedy Cisco. Thanks, Jeremiah. Jeremiah Zachary Dow. Lucas Cullum Knopp. John K. Lyford, Jr. Will the class of 2018 please rise? It is a tradition for graduates to move their tassels from the right side of their cap to the left side. I now ask that you move your tassels and we welcome you as college graduates and our newest as Nuntuck alumni. Congratulations. At this time, we ask all guests to remain seated until all the graduates have exited the hall. They're all going to go upstairs quickly and then meet you in 10 minutes out front on the front steps. So don't rush to get out of here. Let the processionals take place. Let the graduates leave, please. And then the guests head outside where you'll be joined with your loved ones. Again, let's hear it one more time for the class of 2018.